Hey, this is the second progress video on this project. This is the before picture, actually, when we're getting started uh, removing the two retainer walls. If y'all would subscribe to my channel, please, it helps me out. Like and share. Hit the notification bell up top, and you'll be uh, notified when I post the next video. What we're doing here is uh, digging out some trash uh, that was left by the previous contractor behind the uh, existing seawall. We got down about five foot down, and a whole bunch of old lumber and boards were just piled up and covered up with the dirt. Not a good idea to bury trash, plus when it rots, it creates sinkholes in your yard. Here we're installing rough cut one by eight by 12 foot bulkhead boards. There'll be two layers of those. Install one, nail it up with a couple of 12 penny nails. Install another layer on the back side, staggering the joints and nail it up also. This is a pretty neat looking style. I call it my wooden seawall reverse bulkheading. Gives you a nice finish edge look. This is erosion control cloth. We install that on the inside of our seawalls. That allows the water to weep through the wall while keeping the sand on the inside. When installing the uh, timbers and the pilings in the ground, we use a water jet pump system. We have a four inch pump that pumps water through a two inch hose to an inch and a half pipe that's about eight foot long. Stick that down to the ground, blows you a nice size hole. Really soil conditions uh, matter because if it's sand, it'll blow you a nice hole. If it's clay, you gotta work on it a little bit. You can see we've got sand here, so the board slides fairly easy down into the ground. Once you get it in place, you get your pneumatic uh, nail gun, nail it in place, and uh, move on to the next layer. As you can see, we're doubling up the layers. You got one layer on the front, then a second layer on the back side, staggering all the joints. Makes for a nice, strong wall. This is our tie back system. Tie back 12 foot behind the wall with a 5 8 12 foot type 316 stainless steel tie back rod. Our tieback system is placed on five foot four inch centers connected to the pilings on the front. This makes for a real strong wall. Now we've got all of our dead men installed. Now it's time to get the backfill installed behind the wall. Once that's all in place, then we start getting the quarried limestone rip wrap. It's been trucked down from Calera, Alabama. We uh, load that up with a skid steer, take it, dump it over the front of the wall to prevent uh, scarring action along the bottom of the seawall. Also, is a additional tieback system on the wall also helps support the uh, retainer wall. You can see this is quite a process, one bucket load at a time. We've got six trucks carrying about 27 tons each will be installed in front of the seawall. Mm -hmm. 
we've had a real good north wind blowing on us about 13 18 miles an hour and you can see the driver wears every bit of that lime dust as he's dumping it it's a pretty dirty job We got all six loads of the uh, quarried limestone installed. All we got to do now is hook the pump up, get some of the dirt washed off of it, get all the rocks settled in place, and then hand place the rocks, get them all so they look even all the way across. The pilings out front are installed previous to the rocks for a boardwalk. We got a six foot boardwalk going in the front side of this wall. We're going to be installing a two-foot tidal sand synthetic decking top cap on top of the seawall. Then you got that six-foot boardwalk along the front. Uh, we've also started on the other project on the wetland area. Thanks for watching this video on wood retainer wall. If you would, subscribe, hit the bell, and you'll be notified for the next project.